yeah, just to uh, simplify everything, you know, mainly my personality. I'm really like the uh, life of the party that doesn't want to show up to the party, you know, in a nutshell. So I guess that's probably the reason why I'm, you know, a bit unfazed by everything. You know, I, I like creating content. I like building my channel. I like, um, I like the process of things. You know, I, I believe in the idea of learning how to crawl before you fly. Because you have to crawl, then you have to learn how to walk. And then once you learn how to walk, you have to, you know, learn how to fly. Right? You know, and, and another thing, you know, I can say what I um, see, you know, a lot of people falling apart um, in this uh, space because they're not really used to being somebody in real life. They're not used to uh, popularity. And fame can definitely have an effect on certain people's psyche, especially if you don't really know yourself and you didn't really develop your personality. You know, as for me, I was popular my whole life and, you know, not really uh, for any reason I can think of because I didn't really, like, lobby or jockey my way into the ranks. You know, I just did me. I did everything that, you know, the guys around me were doing, you know, running hoes, running ball, trapping, fighting, blah, 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 you know. But when I went home, I was into my science books. I was into uh, mythology. Also used to read my sister's uh, magazines and her romance novels. And used to ear hustle uh, in our conversations, which actually gave me some uh, good insight on how to deal with women. And, um, you know, another thing to make this simple, I already had a uh, developed personality, already developed people skills early on, you know, just, you know, based on, you know, the way that I was moving around. But, you know, by nature, I'm very reclusive. You know, I'm, I, I know I'm opinionated, I'm uh, strong-willed uh, to the max. Definitely, you know, a, uh, hmm, I, simplified, I would just say more of a superior being, but uh, with a B-type personality, you know? Meaning that, you know, I'm artsy, but I, um, I don't really care about competing. You know, to me, I'm already number one, regardless because I'm being me. And I love it, and I like it, and I enjoy it. You should try it sometimes. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. I mean, all your experiences. I'm not saying you're not going to have any difficulty, but the way you deal with your difficulty, you'll be able to exercise patience. You know, you exercise patience with people, patience with uh, trials, patience with circumstances. Instead of uh, practicing restraint, now, there is a big difference because uh, one kills the anxiety, the other one increases it. It's really that simple. Yeah, so, uh, you know, certain things aren't for everybody. You know, that's why I'm not really moved by certain things, like if, um, you know, a woman can say, uh, you know, what she thinks of me, you know, aesthetically, or, uh, you know, I don't know, something else she, she might like about me. Might like my sense of humor, might like the way I dress, might like my cologne. You know, those things really don't move a needle with me. Because I think once you have, you know, that self-assurance and, you know, you're kind of in that comfort zone of it, it really doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you. If you know 
the, the truth of who you are, then that's all that really matters. You know? But another thing about me, I, I do enjoy a good roast. You know, we used to play the dozens. That's another thing we used to do. You know, boys, we just, you know, talk shit. And that's another skill that I developed early on, is the ability to talk shit. Ability to chop up game. The ability to have a good conversation. And I could say it elevated once I've really started getting around the older guys. You know, mainly I could say uh, Al Sharif, Lee, Jim. In, in certain periods. First it was, you know, Al Sharif. Just seeing how he was just moving around and, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty cool, you know. Seeing, like, women actually put money in his hand. You know, that was actually impressive. I seen him one time, we were in a car, and um, he made like 10 stops, and women were just hitting his hands. So I'm like, man, how did he do that? So then, yeah, I learned, you know, that from him and from uh, Lee. You know, he kind of had the same thing going on, but um, introduced me to a whole different lifestyle as far as dealing with, you know, uh, I can say the quality of women, you know, taking those trips to uh, Maryland, Prince of George County, uh, some parts in New York, you know, dealing with uh, professional women at, uh, you know, the age of uh, 19. You know, that really elevated me in that sense because I, it really developed my personality, people skills. You know, I was able to hone in on things. I was able to, you know, understand women, you know, not little girls and females that put on makeup. I'm talking about like women, adult women with careers, and houses, and, you know, mortgages, and uh, status. You know, learning that from, uh, you know, from him and really running around with him and playing at his speed really developed my ability. And, you know, it helped me to when I finally decided to go to college and, um, you know, it helped me to work with my peers. I was able to teach them, you know, and the perks, you know, with that was amazing, you know. Anything from, uh, you know, free uh, beers to concert tickets to uh, clothing, and then, you know, just seeing, you know, uh, how, you know, women received me definitely increased more perks because they wanted to be around me to be a part of that. But, you know, the one thing I didn't develop until later on was the uh, moral compass. Because I was definitely a uh, douche, you know, so was my friends, you know. But then years later, I had to look into that mirror and, you know, and deal with myself and develop, you know, even more, develop a character. You know, but I could say I never dirty macked anyone. I've um, never uh, slandered, you know, a homie over a chick. And in fact, there were times where, uh, you know, there were chicks that I had liked and my homie had liked her, and I just allowed them to go forth with it. You have it, you know. The friendship was more important to me than anything else, you know. There's plenty of fish in the sea.